So I want to show you how to do um, some abdominal massage to help really get things moving um, in your digestive system. So feel free, I'm going to do this in sitting, but uh, doing this lying down might be a little bit more comfortable for you, um, but whatever position is, is most comfortable for you to do, okay? So what we're going to do is um, when we're looking at the, the abdomen, okay, our bowels move from our right side to our left side, okay? So we have our ascending colon that goes up on the right side. We have our transverse colon that goes from right to left. And then we have the descending colon that goes down the left side, um, down towards the sigmoid, and then goes eventually into the rectum, and then things, things come out. So we always want to stimulate things in the direction of how they should move. So thinking of right to left in kind of an upside down U. We don't want to move left to right. We don't want to encourage things to move in the opposite direction, especially if you're bound up, okay? So a couple of, um, two points that we want to, to also stimulate before we start doing some of the massage um, movements itself along that colon, one is the ileocecal valve, okay? This is the point where the small intestine goes into the large intestine, okay? And if you find your belly button, okay, put your finger in your belly button and then put your, your right hand on the right part of your, your hip, right in the front there, or your, it's actually your pelvis, but that bony prominence, okay? If you take your left thumb and you put your thumb in your belly button and then you put your fingertips on that hip bone, Take your right hand, put your hand in the pocket, so to speak, okay? So you put your hand in the pocket, you're kind of midpoint between the belly button and that hip bone, and that is around the area of your ileocecal valve. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do about five pumps there. So you don't have to really push in, but just some little pump, 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 okay? just to get a little kind of uh, stimulation to that area. Then we're gonna go on to our left side, okay, and kind of in through that sigmoid colon where a lot of things kind of get bound up, we're gonna do some sigmoid flushing, okay? So if you put your hand on top of your, your hip bone, okay, or your pelvis bone, I keep saying hip, it's actually your pelvis, okay? We're going to, our, our Descending colon actually does wrap a little bit back behind a little bit, okay? So we want to kind of start with our hand a little bit into the back. So again, here's the top of my hip bone. I'm taking the heel of my hand. I'm putting that kind of right along my back. I'm doing some strokes up along, so I'm on top of that, that, that pelvis bone, and then I'm stroking down towards the groin. Okay, so again, taking the heel of my hand, top of the pelvis, going up and over, and then stroking down towards the groin. And I would do that five times to really promote that motion. So then we're going to start working along the colon. And I like to kind of use the terminology of working out a snarl, okay? So when you get a snarl in your hair, we don't usually start at the top and start brushing down. We work a little bit at the bottom, so we work that out a little bit, and then we go up, and then we kind of go from the top, and we're able to kind of to move, um, work things out. So same thing as the colon. Okay, instead of starting, you know, here and working, we're going to actually work a little bit of the descending colon first, then the transverse into the descending, then the ascending, transverse, and descending, okay? So you can start with just, I like to use my, my fingertips. You could also use the heel of your hand, okay? But you're gonna start kind of right at the, at the rib cage and you're gonna do some little kneading strokes. And again, you can kind of go down the side a little bit. Here's the pelvis and then we're working down towards the groin, okay? So again, starting working descending colon along the uh, bottom of the rib cage, kind of go down, you can go a little bit down the side and then massage down towards the groin. Okay, so kind of down, yeah, towards that area. So you'll do five of those. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the transverse colon. So again, rib cage here, I'm underneath the rib cage. I'm going from right to the left, little circular movements, 
And again, I'm not digging, I'm just kind of stimulating a little bit. And like I said, lying down, you might be a little bit more relaxed when you do it. And then we're going to go down that descending colon, down towards the sigmoid colon, and kind of working that all out. So we do five of those, so transverse colon to descending. Then we're going to go, so, you know, kind of ileocecal valve, okay? We're going to go over, and now we're going to go up. So we're going to go up along that ascending colon. And that ascending colon is usually, um, does not go, go far back. So if you kind of feel the, our muscles, the rectus abdominis muscles, which are those six-pack muscles, which I don't have. <laughs> but uh, so the six-pack muscles, you know, here, um, if you kind of go a little bit to the right, it's kind of right along this area here. So we're going to go up and up and up. We're going to go over and over again. And I, you could even slow down. I'm kind of going a little bit fast for this video, but just, you know, kind of nice kneading strokes down along the sigmoid. So ascending, transverse, and down. Okay. So after we do some of the kneading strokes, we can actually just do some really nice kind of gentle strokes. Okay. So just kind of coming up, come over and kind of come down. Just some nice soothing up, over, and then come down and kind of doing that about five times. And then the last piece is doing some vibrational movements. So you can use your hand, you could use a handheld massager if you have one of those, but the vibration, and again, you can kind of start along this one here, you know, ascending colon, so kind of coming up, kind of going over, and this vibration is really nice to kind of help loosen up some of the gas. You might start noticing some nice gurgling um, through the, the intestinal tract, um, but just can really start getting things, getting things going.